Okay, so what's up everybody? Today I've got a very full video on uh, Nice today. Um, I've got a lot of topics to cover. Everything from, of course, him hitting Masters. What I think it means, um, obviously it means something, but I also want to cover what I think it doesn't mean and what it won't excuse, even if he continues to climb, um, and what I think he has still left to prove, which is quite a lot. I also have... Um, uh, evidence of Nice having an alt account on Reddit uh, given to me uh, courtesy of Yasuke, and I also have um, just some other stuff here to talk about him. Pretty much clout chasing LS here, um, claiming that he uh, exposed LS for nothing pretty much, and then also him insulting Tyler1 for and saying that he hit, hit uh, Masters Korea in less games when he actually hit it in over a thousand games. Yes, it took Nice over a thousand games to hit Masters in Korea, and uh, he was one tricking when he finally hit it, whereas Tyler1 was playing OT, uh, Phil, unlike Nice. But yeah, let's get into this video. Okay, and so first off, obviously I wanted to address um, one of the big things, uh, Nice hitting Masters, you know? And he hit Masters, finally. Um, I guess that's kind of impressive. Um, you know, it, it is it is fair that he hit Masters, right? Um, obviously, it's only top, like, this has 6,000. I've heard, like, 7,000-ish in Korea. Like, there are about 7,000 people uh, people in Masters plus in Korea, because there are a lot with, like, one or two or LP. And, I mean, it, it's obviously impressive, but it's nowhere near Challenger, right? Because Challenger is top 300. He's top 6,000. And I do think that um, it's impossible to get into Challenger uh, for him as he stands. But, you know, at least he's hitting Masters, at least he's improving. It really does not change anything, though, when it comes to him having lied about his Challenger, about him having photoshopped his thing, his uh, Challenger, about him only ever hitting Challenger while being duo boosted. Um, he also has said horrible stuff. It doesn't change that. It doesn't change any of the really bad things about Nice, um, any of the slander he's been making, etc., etc. But, you know, at least he is putting in a little bit of uh, improvement and putting in a little bit of effort. Um, I mean, he hit 46% win rate uh, Platinum 2 on his other account. Like, that 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 stain will never go away, right? Um, even even with this recent climb, okay? There is nothing that's going to change the fact that a supposedly challenger coach went 46% win rate in Plat, and he claimed it was Jungle that brought him down, but it was not. He was higher win rate at the roles than Jungle. But yeah, that's what I want to talk about here. Um, obviously, he made a tweet here. Um, I am now qualified to coach 99.67% or whatever, percent of the player base. Korea high elo. Keep talking. So obviously this is nothing like the challenger he claimed. He's been climbing for almost half a year now. Um, majority of that spent under diamond, actually. And, um, yep, here I am. This is me. I said nothing will change the lying about challenger NA and only hitting it in lane. Um, and he only hit it in lane while dual boosting, too. I should have added that. Um, I suppose spending a quarter of a year in plat. But at least there is some improvement. Masters is a far cry from challenger, and there's a lot of more uh, room for improvement for you to back up what you have claimed. And then you says, ha 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 ha. I'm eating you alive. Um, I don't think you really are, buddy. And then I, uh, I respond again, and he says, ha ha ha, my little puppets on Twitter. My video game job is your IRL obsession. And so I found this really interesting because I don't really promote my Twitter here. I don't even really post on my Twitter at all because this is like a joke Twitter I have. But it's clear that Nis, I think, knows who I am or that my Twitter is connected to my YouTube, which is pretty interesting to me like that shows that he has a pretty high level of attention to detail while watching my videos and looking at me for him to know that this twitter is connected to my youtube account when i don't really like share that or advertise that um yeah it, it just seems, it also makes him look like a bit of a bad man when he calls uh me a uh, obsessed with him and says my irl puppets on twitter um yeah it, it's just a little bit odd for him to say that and it clearly shows that niece is a fan of me i guess <laughs> um but yeah, that, that, that's really what I want to address about the Masters situation. Um, him OTPing one champion up to Masters, it's it's better than he was doing before, but I mean, literally just a couple months ago he was in Plat, um, and we're going to have to see if this improvement really exists, and um, I'd also love to see if he can actually play any other roles, because again, he offers um, coaching for every single role, not not just Trendemir mid or uh, top lane, but he, he offers it for every role, and he's probably Iron ADC, Platinum Jungle, um, and maybe platinum support. But I also want to get into something here. So Yasuke, uh, the carnivore turned to mid main himself, who uh, Nice has been stealing his, uh, his build from. He goes to this build. Um, I'm pretty sure Yasuke invented it, though I don't really know. But um, yeah, he, he, sh he shared um, this alt account of Nice here. And so, again, I'm pretty sure this is an alt account. And again, obviously Nice has been exposed for having many alt accounts on Reddit and Twitter, and just n numerous amounts of them, right? But this is another one that's not been exposed, and it shows just how many there might be. Um, let's look at this one. So this one was created 12 years ago, and the first thing here is, um, was made five years ago. This is obviously before Nice was very popular, so it's not really defending him, but he doesn't post very much. Um, I'm just talking about video games and stuff. Obviously, you can tell he's like a uh, 
bit of a OG gamer because of how long his Reddit account's been for, so that would obviously make sense. He said someone's been gaming for a long time, and it's very old, obviously. Um, and so then when you, we, we look up here, and first off, Fortnite Battle Royale five years ago. So Nice was very involved in the um, Fortnite scene quite a while ago. So this makes sense that it would be Nice. Um, he also has another one here. Um, so this is obviously connecting with his uh, timeline. And he has a bit more Fortnite stuff. All right, this all makes sense. Fortnite competitive. Um, you know, it's gonna it's gonna be about Nice, obviously here. And you can see here he's uh, insulting Trump a little bit and stuff. I mean, I guess that, that's not interesting, but if you want to know Nice's political leanings, they're right here, I think. Um, but then you start to see um, him defend Nice as you get closer. Here he is um, just insulting other people in seminary school. He's saying that Tyler Wan has no mentality and stuff. Um, when you look at Nice, he has even worse, so that doesn't make a lot of sense. And um, yeah, this is him going here. But then obviously Nice starts to get a little bit hated. So we're going to get up to where that starts. I mean, you can see here he's just insulting people and being a bit toxic, too, honestly. Like, this is something that Nice loves to do. He loves to insult and be toxic to people. Um, and just be, a, a, be really rude, give uh, very rude advice. And I, again, I don't think there's any way this could be anyone other than Nice. Um, I'll get up to it more here. But this is really, like, the first one, I think, about um, Nice here. But it says, It's your authority collecting the better known education content creators, a.k.a. Nice and Coach Curtis. And then um, he says, lol, you are lucky he replied to you at all. And, he, and <laughs> he's right, by the way, comparing O style to NA, even if NA is the worst main region, O is not even close. Dwayne will literally coach Nice on Hecarim and discredited Nice with a ton about that game at the end of the vid. This guy's an boy coach for a reason, dude. It's not even close. Demand speaks for itself. So yeah, obviously you can see that's the narcissism starting here. Um, him just insulting this guy who was just talking about, you know, coaching and stuff. Um, and I mean, like, look at this glazing. It, this has to be niche, right? Lol, you're lucky he even replied to you at all. That's like, come on, guys. That's niche. Um, and then he he he, he just insults other people more. Um, he says, yeah, your bias is showing really hard compared to niche to two O's content creators, and it, it's just he's pretty much insulting O's players. But niche literally only hit land on challenger. This guy says, I saw niche hit land challenger in a month. <laughs> Bro, these you were duo boosted and land challenger is easier than Oath challenger. What the hell? Like, again, this is just crazy coping. No one other than East would have said this. Um, like, there's literally no way. Uh, <laughs> and then look, he says, look at uh, Phi La or Larius Clears on YouTube. I don't even know who that is. Maybe I should. I don't know. But he's probably some guy that needs uh, employees to coach, so that makes sense that he'd comment that. Nice obviously very much cares about people's jungle clearance. That's all he'll tell jungle players to do. Um, and then we get back up to more stuff talking about Nice. Um, <laughs> and he, he obviously uh, just super insulting here. He uh, says, you mean that little mousy EUS coach that talked about ejaculating on underage girls? Yeah, I'm going with Nice, I think. And so this is him saying that um, Vagar V2 is worse than Nice. And... Um, yeah, it's an obviously an alt account. Uh, Nice has called Vigar V2 a pedophile recently, so this would track with him calling him a pedophile uh, before. And um, yeah, yeah, this is just it's just crazy stuff. He's uh, like trying to like really insult other people and other coaches on the scene. And then he says, if you are an EUS player, yeah, probably socially awkward and poor. And this obviously tracks when we've seen Nice say the same things about um, land players. He's called land players unintelligent and poor. Extremely, extremely horrible stuff. Um, I don't even know why that makes sense. Like, if you're EU West, wouldn't you be intelligent and rich? Because on average, EU West is pretty intelligent and rich. Uh, sometimes even more so than America, honestly. Um, but yeah, he just... It's just, just crazy. And he says stuff like, Nice was worried about this up. How is this content allowed? And he's the most popular coach on the scene with the highest demand by being blunt and honest like this. I'm sure he's doing just fine. How much money do you make an hour off a video game? And, I mean, that's pretty much where it stops, but... He probably moved on to other alt accounts after this, uh, because he didn't want this one to get exposed, but it, it is getting exposed, and, um, I also saw some stuff here, I saw this old Reddit thread, this is what he was talking about, too, um, it seems here that Nice used to offer, um, pretty much boosting services, or duo queuing for $700, it might be a bit of a reach to call it boosting, but boosting is technically not allowed, right, um, so that's not cool, and, um, this guy also claims that Nice has, um, given away some of his accounts or played on low elo accounts that don't belong to him obviously he's talked about selling accounts before um this is an example of an account he's um been known to play on and um it's never made it out of bronze it's not nice playing it's someone else playing i don't know if he got like a name change or what but this guy makes it seem like that's not what happened um i don't know that's just some stuff about nice it, it's nothing interesting here but he, he 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 potentially has done boosting and obviously like count selling he's admitted to and just a bunch of other stuff that technically could be against TOS, even though it's not like that bad.
Okay, but then I want to get to Nisa's most recent videos. So look at Nisa's most recent videos. Um, LS got caught in 4K by Nisa's one of them, and that's <laughs> freaking, it's a freaking lie is the title, okay? And, um, I don't know if I should go into this one first, or Tyler Wan one first, but, um, I, I guess I'll look at the LS one first. And so here he is, um, he's pretty much, uh, insulting Tarzan, saying that Tarzan's credentials don't count because they were in the past when he hit Challenger and Career with 81% win rate, when, uh, he's just like, oh, I can't forget my past credentials, they don't count, that's what he says. But, um, in reality, Nice, you lied about your past credentials, so that's why you can't use them, um, they don't exist, simply put, uh, um, and then he, uh, goes on to insult, uh, LS, and he looks at LS's account and sees that he's doing some of his games, so, like, I mean, look at LS's account here, he doesn't obviously grind very much, I mean, Nice has put thousands of games in since he went to Korea, and he, um, only just hit Masters, that's not very impressive for someone who claims he would hit Challenger very quickly. Um, I mean, he played literally thousands of games, I believe, um, and most of that was spent in, like, low elo. And LS here, obviously he duos a little bit with other players. Again, I don't even know if these players are necessarily boosting him. His win rate's not necessarily much higher with them than he is alone. And, um, you know, he's just playing whatever he wants. He's played so many different champions. He's not even grinding like Nice is. Like, Nice has been literally sweating his, his hardest the entire time in Korea, while LS is just having fun and doing his thing. Um, and then Nice has the audacity to insult LS and call him boosted when he literally just duos. Like, LS never claims he didn't duo. The fact that you made a full video claiming that you're exposing LS for something that, um, he never said he didn't do, um, on an account that he doesn't take seriously, he hasn't played in a week, um, he doesn't care about playing the game, he commentates on it more and he, like, is an analyst for it more. It's not, it's not about playing it for him, and even then, he is obviously, in my opinion, way more skilled than Nice because he is hitting, up. Uh, high elo comparable to what Nice. I mean again Nice took months and months and thousands of games to hit this elo um and that and he only finally hit it when he was playing Trendemir like again you, we can't it's great he literally was 46 percent one right plot earlier this season again it is impressive that he hit Trend, um masters playing Trendemir but um again we don't know if that will continue or not if he does continue then I guess there'll be proof that he is actually a masters tier Trendemir player but it won't prove that he is a Masters tier everything player, and honestly, LS is proving that he is a Masters tier everything player. Um, and this is just another clear example of grifting by Nice, trying to get views. Again, it has a lot more views than Nice normally gets. Uh, it has 26k views, that's more than Nice would normally get. So he's just clout chasing, he's clout chased with Ninja, he's clout chased with LS, he's clout ch uh, chased with Coach Curtis. Um, even though Coach Curtis doesn't have too much clout, like Nice will literally clout chase with anyone he can, any opportunity he can, and that's just, that's just the kind of person he is, unfortunately. Um, and that, that's what he's doing here. And then he also tries, tries to call out Tyler One, saying he hit uh, Masters Korea in 149 games. And uh, Nice, I'm sorry, but uh, you actually spent over a thousand games, over a thousand games to hit Masters Korea when you count for your platinum account. I mean, just this season alone, you're 511, right? But he played at least that many last season, okay? And then he obviously played 150 on his new account. So he's at well over 8,000 games uh, currently. And um, he has probably about a 50% win rate total. Um, honestly, even if you count his new account. And he, and he just hit Masters because he started a new account and he's just been one-tricking. Tyler One was playing Phil. He was grinding there, he was learning the Korean server, and he was literally changed that 149 to like 1490, and then maybe maybe you could talk, okay? And then you also have to consider that Tyler One was playing Phil. Tyler One was betted against, Tyler One was actually inted, and you're perma random in Korea. No one is betting against you, no one is inting you. That's just crazy stuff that you would say that. Like, add add an extra zero to the end of that, okay? Please, please for the love of God. But um yeah, really that's gonna be it for this video. Um Hope you all enjoy. Hope you all enjoy learning about Nice. Um, uh, his alt account. I mean, I wonder how many more alt accounts Nice has. Probably some of them have appeared in my comment section on YouTube, um, on Twitter. I mean, I, I've not. Nice hasn't had many like alt accounts exposed on YouTube. I bet he has a bunch of them though. Um, but yeah, hope you all enjoyed it. Um, thank you Yazuke for coming up with this uh, video here. Uh, and see y'all.